Welcome to VR Gems channel. We review lesser known VR games that are worth playing. None of our reviews are sponsored by the developers nor publishers, and represent our honest opinion of the product. The first game in this issue has, at the time of recording, merely 16 positive reviews since being released in October 2016. This is a real shame as it's a very enjoyable and funny single-player VR game. In Rescuities your task is to catch cute pets and babies that get thrown at you. Once caught you have to throw or shoot using a slingshot whatever you are now holding toward designated safe spots. What could have been an okay mobile game really shows how much VR is different from other mediums. Rescuities VR is intuitive, immersive, and insanely fun. It is also quite a good workout as you have to dart left and right to catch all the bouncing creatures you have been thrown to. Graphically the world resemble more Minecraft, with blocky people and vibrant colors, than reality. This is probably for the best though as a game with realistic graphics in which drowning babies and kitten are a given would be quite off-putting, especially in VR. There are more than 10 scenarios, with for example a house on fire, a sinking cruise ship and hot air balloons in danger, and plenty of options to modify the challenge to your liking, including making yourself a giant. Rescuities VR is available on Steam for €4.99 Euros, or on the Oculus Store for €9.99. The second game is as cute but a completely different genre. Waterbears VR is actually a remake of a mobile puzzle game by the same name. Your task is to free trapped giant and very cute tardigrades by rerouting, remixing, and redirecting water flows. I don't know the original game, but the VR version feels so natural that I cannot fathom how to play this game other than room scale with tracked controllers. You just take pieces of tubing from your palette, and turn and place them the way you need. The puzzles are not particularly difficult but still challenging enough to avoid boredom and most use room scale in a very effective way, as you will need to walk around the contraptions to solve them. As a bonus, once you solve a level the freed tardigrades start to float around and you can pet and play with them. Visually the world is colorful and a joy to experience, although I am not sure what water bears have in common with tropical islands. It should also be noted that the Calypso soundtrack fits well the environment, if not the actual gameplay. Water Bears is a slightly more expensive game, at $9.99 on Steam, but in my opinion a very good addition to your VR game collection if you like logical puzzles. After Blarp, Waka Flarka Flim Flams and these two, it is high time to review less casual and more substantial games. But that's for the next edition. Until then, don't forget to subscribe.